In Moto 13.2, we now have a curve falloff node. This allows us to use a curve, a physical curve in the scene, as a falloff item that you can use to attenuate deformations. So let's take a look at that. So we have our little uh, S-shaped uh, tube here. And if I turn this off and we go here, you can see that we have a curve that is now along or running along the inside of this. And this is a curve that can be edited. So if we wanted to, we can grab these points and we can move this wherever we want. It's just a standard modeling curve. But if we come out of here and we do this now, by using that curve, go here and connecting it to our curve fall off, and then putting that fall off into our influence. Now, when we use this lift effector, which is just a translate, and I move this up, you can see that it's attenuating its effect or its weight based off of the parameterization of this curve. And what's really cool about this is obviously you can adjust the position. So let's say I take the curve and I wanna move it. Um, I can change how this thing works and where the fall off actually lies in the scene. I can also take the curve and flip its direction. So if I flip this now, this is the starting point versus what we saw over there. Basically all the different or standard modeling tools that you have available to you. But also, if we look at this curve fall off, you see that we have a gradient input here. This means that we can take user gradients. So let's take a look at this here. I have three different user gradients, and if we look at them here in the graph editor, you can see here we have a, an in, a mid, and an out. And if I click this here, we can actually look at these all normalized. And if I go back to my graph editor, I can say, well, I want to attenuate this curve fall off based off of this. So now what I've done is now the, f the little S here is only moving up and down based off of this one user gradient. So let's just pull this up so we can see. If I connect this to here, now you can see that it is moving just through the inside of that, which is in, follows basically this shape here, right? Like that. And if we go back, we can then switch it over to C. So now it's only going to work on the end. So the curve fall off by itself is really powerful. It gives you a, a zero to one weight that you can apply to anything in the scene. And then with the use of user gradients, we can attenuate that effect um, with a user driven shaped uh, gradient uh, that can create even more complex um, behaviors in your scene with a lot less complexity in your rig.